God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Surrender to God, and he will do everything for you. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy those who do evil, for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait in patience. Do not fret at the man who prospers, a man who makes evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, the patient shall inherit the land. A little longer, and the wicked shall have gone. Look at his place, he is not there. But the humble shall own the land, and enjoy the fullness of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surrender to God. And, and he, he will, will do, do everything, everything for you. you. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. The wicked man plots against the just and gnashes his teeth against him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn, his bow is bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken to pieces. The just man's few possessions are better than the wicked man's wealth, for the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord will support the just. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine, their food shall not fail. But all the wicked shall perish, and all the enemies of the Lord. They are like the beauty of the meadows. They shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked man borrows without repaying, but the just man is generous and gives. Those blessed by the Lord shall own the land, but those he has cursed shall be destroyed. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. Though he stumble, he shall never fall, for the Lord holds him by the hand. I was young, and now I am old, but I have never seen the just man forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All the day he is generous and lends, and his children become a blessing. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice, and will never forsake his friends. The unjust shall be wiped out forever, and the children of the wicked destroyed. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall live forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The, the Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. Wait for the Lord to lead, then follow in his way. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps shall be saved from stumbling. The wicked man watches for the just 
and seeks occasion to kill him, the Lord will not leave him in his power, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Then wait for the Lord, keep to his way. It is he who will free you from the wicked, raise you up to possess the land, and see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked triumphant, towering like a cedar of Lebanon. I passed by again, he was gone. I searched, he was nowhere to be found. See the just man, mark the upright. For the peaceful man a future lies in store. But sinners shall all be destroyed. No future lies in store for the wicked. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord to lead, then, then follow, follow in his way. Teach me goodness and holy wisdom, for I have put my trust in your guidance. from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. But the wicked shall receive a punishment to match their thoughts, since they neglected justice and forsook the Lord. For he who despises wisdom and instruction is doomed. Vain is their hope, fruitless are their labors, and worthless are their works. Their wives are foolish and their children wicked. Accursed is their brood. Yes, blessed is she who, childless and undefiled, knew not transgression of the marriage bed. She shall bear fruit at the visitation of souls. So also the eunuch whose hand wrought no misdeed who held no wicked thoughts against the Lord. For he shall be given fidelity's choice reward and a more gratifying heritage in the Lord's temple. For the fruit of noble struggles is a glorious one, and unfailing is the root of understanding. But the children of adulterers will remain without issue and the progeny of an unlawful bed will disappear. For should they attain long life, they will be held in no esteem, and dishonored will their old age be at last. While should they die abruptly, they have no hope, nor comfort in the day of scrutiny, for dire is the end of the wicked generation.
The Lord tested his chosen ones like gold tested by fire. He has received them as a sacrificial offering. At the time of his visitation, men shall see. For grace and mercy shall be given to his chosen ones. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall live with him in love. For grace and mercy shall be given to his chosen ones. From a letter to the Corinthians by St. Clement I, Pope and Martyr. Consider, beloved, how the Lord keeps reminding us of the resurrection that is to come, of which he has made the Lord Jesus Christ the first fruits by raising him from the dead. Let us look, beloved, at the resurrection that occurs at its appointed time. Day and night show us a resurrection. The night lies in sleep. Day rises again, the day departs, night takes its place. Let us think about the harvest. How does the sowing take place, and in what manner? The sower goes out and casts each seed upon the ground. Dry and bare, they fall into the earth and decay. Then the greatness of the Lord's providence raises them up again from decay, and out of one many are produced and yield fruit. In this hope, then, let our hearts be bound fast to him who is faithful in his promises and just in his judgments. He forbade us to tell lies. Still less will he himself tell a lie. Nothing is impossible for God except to tell a lie. Then let our faith in him be awakened. Let us reflect that everything is close to him. By the word of his power, he established all things, and by his word he can reduce them to ruin. Who shall say to him, What have you done? Who shall stand up against the power of his might? He will accomplish everything when he wills and as he wills, and nothing that he has decreed shall pass away. All things stand in his presence, and nothing lies hidden from his counsel. If the heavens tell forth the glory of God, the firmament reveals the work of his hands, Day speaks to day, and night shares knowledge with night. There are no words, no speeches, and their voices are not heard. Since all things lie open to his eyes and ears, let us hold him in awe and rid ourselves of impure desires to do works of evil, so that we may be protected by his mercy from the judgment that is to come. Which of us can escape his mighty hand? What world will give asylum to one who deserts him? Where will I go? Where will I hide from your face? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go to the limits of the earth, your right hand is there. If I lie down in the deep, your spirit is there. Where then can one go? Where can one escape to from the presence of him whose hands embrace the universe? Let us then approach him in holiness of soul, raising up to him hands pure and undefiled, out of love for our good and merciful Father, who made us a chosen portion for himself. O Lord, ruler of all creation, the whole universe is subject to your authority, and no one can oppose your will. Free us for the sake of your love. You fashioned the heavens and the earth, and every wonderful thing under heaven. Free us for the sake of your love. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, strengthen our faith, hope, and love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us and come to share the life you promise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.